Hello Facebook, hello YouTube. This is Miko's Milan Mitchell. Yesterday, something special happened to me. I was at the DMV for four hours yesterday and I aced the knowledge test, which led me to get 37 out of 40 questions or 93%. The high score led me to get my first ever driver's permit. I was so happy that I got my driver's permit. That means now I get to practice driving a vehicle with a licensed driver. The law states that in Minnesota, after three months of holding on to my driver's permit and practice driving, I could try to apply for a driver's license by taking the road test. I want to work on parallel parking. A lot of people struggle with parallel parking, backing up, doing a 180 degree maneuver. And of course, driving into both downtown Minneapolis and downtown St. Paul. They have to learn how to drive in those conditions. At first, driving is scary, but once you get used to driving, it's not so scary anymore. It's just basically common sense. You gotta know how to react to traffic conditions. You, it's called like they will test you on reaction time. They will also touch. They will also test you on just judgment and just common sense. Me, I would be a good driver, but you gotta look out for other people's driving. And I'm sorry to say this, but these stupid ass idiots on the road that don't know how to drive and I ask myself, they had no business getting their driver's license in the first place. Half of the time, they don't use their turn signal. They don't use the side view mirror or the rear view mirror to check your lanes. They change lanes without. They change lanes without turn on the turn signals, which it pisses me off. And what pisses me off the most, people is talking on their cell phone or text messaging while driving. Not only that it's illegal, it is also dangerous. It may cause car accidents and collisions. My advice to y'all, please pay attention on the road. It's very important. That's why I want to practice driving. I will practice driving in a parking lot. Then I would gradually move to side street. Then I would gradually drive on freeways where there's no cars at in the daytime. Then I would gradually learn how to drive at night and drive in the winter. The Minnesota Department of Motor Vehicles states that under normal driving conditions, under normal weather conditions, the following distance is three seconds. In other words, a three second rule. But at nighttime or in bad weather, you must increase your following distance to like four, five, or even six second rule. I'd rather be safe than sorry. But enough about driving, enough about my driver's permit. As you know, if you live in Hastings, Minnesota, or on the outskirts of Hastings, like Cottage Grove, Rosemont, Inver Grove Heights, Apple Valley or the south suburbs of the Twin Cities, even Red Wing, Minnesota. Guys and dolls will be performing at the Hastings High School in Hastings, Minnesota. Pardon me, Hastings, Minnesota. The regular price for tickets is around $17.55. By looking on the website for a discount, is $10.53. I went up to Hastings Black Dirt Beauty yesterday in downtown Hastings. I was told that the tickets I will have to pay a regular price and I don't get a discount playwrights screenwriters directors producers even the founders and co-founders of Hastings Black Dirt Theater will have to pay a regular price to see guys and dolls at the Hastings High School last but not least Chad Huber who lived in Iowa City Iowa for six years will be moving to Minneapolis Minnesota this weekend I am very happy that he is moving to the Twin Cities. I've known him since the University of Iowa days. Thank you, Chad, for giving me the picture of Tabby Down Eye.